SCP-1042, Object Class State, nicknamed the Ghost Stone. Special Containment Procedures SCP-1042 is to be contained in a standard EM-shielded anomalous materials storage locker. When testing, precautions with equipment should be taken as the object has been noted to affect electrical devices. Description SCP-1042 is a standard brick used at foundation construction, typical of homes built in the Victorian era. Analysis has shown that SCP-1042 has similar composition to be made in during Though closer inspection shows an unusual lattice work structure on a molecular level. When introduced to low level electromagnetic fields or struck with a ferrous object, three dimensional visual and auditory projections of past events appear. These projections are frequently accompanied by the entity designated SCP-1042-1. History The Historical Society of had taken ownership of a local mansion, the site of a notorious murder, and was given guided ghost tours of the grounds. The original owner of the house, Mr. B the town's land baron, was accused of murdering a maidservant in 18 but was acquitted of the charges. After the trial, the wife removed herself and their children from the area, and he became a recluse before finally committing suicide in the house three years later. Since then, owners and staff reported seeing multiple apparitions in and around the manor of the original family and the staff. Images of themselves performing mundane tasks, labeled by tour guides as doppelgangers, and sightings of the Black Monk, now believed to be SCP-1042-1. Frequencies of these sightings tended to increase during thunderstorms. In 19... An electrician wiring the house to the town's new electrical grid scraped a screwdriver across the exposed blocks of the cellar and was greeted with the image of the house's original owner murdering the maid in a reenactment of the 18 event. The apparitions showed no acknowledgement of the electrician and faded after approximately five minutes. Procurement. Posing as safety inspectors, Foundation agents were able to procure SCP-1042 using Foundation maintenance as a cover story. The brig was located using a standard electromagnetic field meter. Agents have replaced it with a duplicate of equal proportions, as well as structurally bolstering the foundations of the building to avoid arousing suspicion. In experiments with SCP-1042, it has been determined that sights and sounds of people or objects moving around the object are recorded for a later playback. It does not appear to record inactivity, only motion. Playback of events varies in fidelity. Most images are transparent and have a blurred effect. Audio has noticeable inference, described by observers as metallic scraping or stone grinding on stone. When a low-level current is applied to the block, the effects gain much in clarity. Recorded events can be projected by introducing an EM field or by striking or scraping the block with a steel or iron object. Specific events can be chosen for playback by altering the strength of the EM field, the force of the strike, or a combination of both. SCP-1042-1 appears as a tall humanoid figure, standing at the height of approximately 2.5 meters. Image fidelity of projection, projections varies, but they have never been observed at the full clarity and opacity of other SCP-1042 projections. They appear to be clothed in black hooded robes. Facial features also appear to be obscured by a mask of the same sort of material. Hands are humanoid with five digits, also covered in layers of black material. The exact nature of his clothing cannot be determined. 
These entities are seen in approximately 15% of SCP 1042's projections. 80% of these appearances consist of the figure standing motionless, facing the subject's actions. In 20% of appearances, the entities interacted with subjects indirectly, relocating objects in the general vicinity to a slightly altered position, always in a fashion that would ensure that subjects make contact with these objects. The purpose of these actions is unknown. The only occurrence of SCP-1042-1 vocalizing is the above experiment log. We are unable to determine whether the entity was interacting with researchers in real time, or had predetermined our actions and performed the appropriate response during the recording phase. Given the nature of SCP-1042-1, it is possible that it may not preserve time in a strictly linear fashion. Further testing of this hypothesis is recommended.